So last weekend I received my copy of Buildings, tabletop terrain from XPS Foam by Gerard Boom and Michael Martin. I'd been waiting for this book for some time, so now that I've had some time to study it in my special reading room, I thought I'd make a little review of it. This is not a sponsored review. I bought this book with money, and I can prove it, as that's my name right there in the Kickstarter credits at the back. That said, I'm a long-time fan of Mr. Martin's and Mr. Boom's work, so I may be a tiny bit biased. I'll let you decide on that. Let's start from the obvious. The book looks beautiful. Excellent full color print, stitch binding, and a bookmark ribbon, which in my opinion, every single book should have. But if you're thinking of buying this book, you probably don't want to use it to decorate your shelves, so let's have a look inside. The first part of the book contains advice on how to select XPS foam, work it, texture it, and paint it. The sections are short, but contain all the information that's needed to get going. And at the end of the day, no amount of text is going to be a substitute for practice. There is also a section about how to use a proxin and different attachments to make different cuts. The meat of the book covers building tutorials, which you can see at the back of the book. Each tutorial is rated for difficulty, and is explained in short, easy to follow steps. Personally, I hate reading instructions, but I didn't have any trouble following these. The one problem I see with these tutorials is that they absolutely require either a hot wire cutter, or enough experience to adapt the instructions. For example, I was able to build the mausoleum piece by cutting pieces with a knife, but that's pretty much the maximum size I can cut with a knife, and I can't really see a beginner do that without risking injury. In some cases you can easily use foam board so you don't have to slice up thick chunks, but in some cases, like uh, the tower for example, it's really not an option. Now, the question isn't whether this is a good book, it's absolutely a great book. The real question is, is it the right book for you? Where I see it, if you're a beginner, have access to a proxin, and uh, want to start crafting, I don't think there's a better place to start than this book. On the other hand, if you're still on the fence, kind of, I think I like this foam modeling thing, but I'm not sure if it's for me yet, and I don't want to buy any special equipment for now, I think you're better off following a few online tutorials first, because without the tools you're just going to get frustrated or hurt. That's why I would have liked to see at least one or two tutorials in here that didn't need a proxy. They would have made this the perfect starter book. As for crafters with more experience under their belt, I'm sure you will be able to pick up a few new tricks here. But what I am finding most interesting is going over how the tutorial pieces are laid out and the shapes are broken down, because I feel that's going to be very valuable in planning my own projects in future. Final verdict? If you're already headed down the crafting rabbit hole, this is a great book to get hold of. Getting a proxin isn't really a barrier for entry as they're not very expensive and they are really useful for foam work. If you're still not sure if foam crafting is for you, maybe hold off a little and try to craft something simpler that only uses simple tools first before you decide to take the plunge in. Hope this review was useful and I'll be back with more crafting videos in a while. In the meantime, stay safe and have a great week.